Silent Witness Silent Witness is a British crime drama television series produced by the BBC, which focuses on a team of forensic pathology experts and their investigations into various crimes. First broadcast in 1996, the series was created by Nigel McCrory, a former murder squad detective based in Nottingham. He later went on to create the series New Tricks, with writer Roy Mitchell. Twenty-four series of Silent Witness have been broadcast since 1996. Amanda Burton starred as primary character Dr. Sam Ryan before leaving the show during the eighth series. Since her departure, the series has featured an ensemble cast which initially consisted of William Gaminara, Tom Ward and Emilia Fox, and later on David Caves, Liz Carr and Richard Lintern alongside Emilia Fox. At the end of series 23, Carr and Lintern both departed. The program is broadcast in more than 235 territories, including ABC in Australia, Showcase and the Knowledge Network in Canada, KRO in the Netherlands, TV1 and Prime in New Zealand, BBC First in South Africa, and BBC America in the United States. Silent Witness continues to achieve good audience ratings in the UK. In 2011, for example, Series 14 attracted an average audience of 9 million viewers. Background The main character in the original series was based on Professor Helen Whitwell, a forensic pathologist based in Sheffield who McCurry had known while serving as a police officer. The program followed the activities of pathologist Sam Ryan, played by Amanda Burton, until she departed early in the eighth series. There was a succession of regular supporting characters, changing almost every series, but Dr. Leo Dalton, William Gaminara, and Dr. Harry Cunningham, Tom Ward, who were introduced in the sixth series, continued as lead characters following Ryan's departure, with Dalton replacing her as professor. A new character, Dr. Nikki Alexander Emilia Fox, was introduced in mid-series eight. While working as a forensic anthropologist, she appropriates facilities and software in the pathology department to analyze an Iron Age find with the belated, bemused, and begrudging approval of Dalton. Dr. Alexander is able to assist in a set of cases being investigated by the team. As it turns out, she has worked in forensic pathology in Johannesburg for six months and is certified by the Home Office to practice. She eventually overcomes Leo's reluctance and, with Harry's support, is offered and accepts a position on the team. Before the 16th series begins, Harry has left to accept a position in New York City. He is succeeded by forensics expert Jack Hodgson, David Caves, and his assistant Clarissa Mulrelly's car. At the climax of the 16th series, Leo is killed in an explosion. His replacement, Dr. Thomas Chamberlain Richard Linter, is introduced at the start of the 17th series. Although the show focuses heavily on areas of pathology, the police also have a presence in each case. During later series of the show, detectives and investigators tend to differ from episode to episode, with guest artists appearing in these roles. However, during the early years of the show, several characters appeared regularly to investigate each case. The first three series were set in Cambridge. This changed to London from the start of the fourth series, following Sam as she took up an academic position in the Lyle Center, the pathology department of UCL. The program remained in an academic setting until the end of series 16 when the Lyle appeared to have become separated from the university and operated as a standalone institution. Each series is typically made up of a series of two-part stories. The first nine series typically featured eight episodes for two-part stories, increased to ten episodes five two-part stories from the tenth series onwards. In 1998, the writer John Milne received an Edgar Award from the Mystery Writers of America for the second series episode Blood. In the United States, the series airs during Mystery Monday on BBC America. Music the theme music from Series 2 onwards is entitled Silencium and is performed by John Harl.
The arrangement for chamber orchestra and soprano saxophone solo was first performed as part of the Canterbury Festival on 22 October 2011. The vocal section is performed by Sarah Leonard. The incidental music used in the series is written by the BAFTA-nominated composer Sheridan Tum. Critical Review Episodes Characters Overview who overview 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 main Sam Ryan Amanda Burton series one eight Sam originally lived and worked in Cambridge but moved to London at the end of series three after she was offered the job of professor at a university Sam departed and returned home to Northern Ireland in the second episode of series eight a time to heal in which a member of her family became a suspect in a murder case. Detective Chief Inspector Tom Adams John McGlynn Series 1, an investigator with the Cambridgeshire Police Force, who had an affair with Carrie Cox before her death. Superintendent Helen Farmer Claire Higgins Series 1, a superintendent, and Tom Adams' boss and mentor, who accompanied him on investigating several cases during his time in the force. Trevor Stewart William Armstrong Series 1-3. As well as being a pathologist in his own right, Trevor was Sam's business partner, owning half of the morgue and its facilities. Trevor decided to stay in Cambridge with his friends and family when Sam accepted the professorship position at a university in London and moved away at the end of Series 3. When Ryan Ruth McCabe Series 1-3. Professor Ryan's sister, who moved to Cambridge with her mother some years before Sam's arrival, and one of the reasons Sam Ryan relocated. Initially their relationship was strained, but eventually the two moved in with one another and grew close. In the first episode of Series 3, it is announced when returned to Ireland. Wynne makes one appearance in Season 3 to visit Sam and announce her upcoming wedding. Superintendent Peter Ross McFord Series 2 a superintendent, and an ex-boyfriend of Sam's, who believed in a strong relationship between the police and the pathology lab. Detective Chief Inspector Michael Connor Nick Reading Series 3-4. A detective chief inspector, an old friend of Sam's, whom she met during her junior years at university. He makes one appearance for the third story of the fourth season. Detective Sergeant Rob Bradley Mark Lethier in Series 3. A detective sergeant, who as Connor's junior officer accompanied him with the investigating in the cases which he was assigned to. Leo Dalton William Gaminar Series 616. Leo first appeared in the episode The Fallout, where he was a doctor. However, he was promoted to professor after former professor Sam Ryan left. In the episode Ghosts, both his wife, Teresa, and his daughter, Cassie, are killed in a car accident. He began a relationship with fellow professor Janet Mander in Death's Door, but ended their relationship in the episode Red Hill. Leo often took a strong opinion on cases and became emotionally involved. He died in the series' 16 finale Greater Love when he sacrificed himself to save many others from a terrorist bomb explosion. He briefly appeared in a flashback in the last episode of series 20. Harry Cunningham Tom Ward Series 615. Harry started out life as a junior doctor who worked as an apprentice alongside Sam and Leo. However, he soon qualified as a pathologist and has worked on equal footing with the team for a number of years. Harry was single and lived alone, but has had several romantic relationships, including an ongoing will they won't they relationship with his colleague Nikki. Harry left the team to accept a professorship in New York at the end of series 15, as this was decided after filming was completed and the stories were reordered. With And Then I Fell in Love airing last, where it was originally scheduled as the second episode, his departure was never on screen. Nikki Alexander, Emilia Fox, since series 8. Originally appearing in the episode Nowhere Fast, Nikki was originally assigned to the Lyle Center to diffuse the tension between Harry and Leo after Sam's departure. However, Nikki soon became a permanent fixture within the team, and although she features more prominently in the series, despite her native home being South Africa, Nikki regards the United Kingdom as her second home, 
as the reason for her departure from the country lies solely in the hands of her father, Victor, as explained in the episode Double Dare. Nikki often flirted with colleague Harry, and even invited him to stay at her house after his flat blew up in an explosion. Nikki and Harry were in an ongoing will-they-won't-they -they relationship until he left in series 15. As well as this, she developed a close relationship with Leo and looked up to him as a father figure. As Leo and Harry gradually left, Nikki has since become the series' central character. Jack Hodgson David Cabe's since series 16. Before his arrival at the Lyle Center, Jack was a forensic scientist for the police, working on regular murder investigations. However, when he is called out to the scene of a man's suspicious death in change, both Nikki and Leo spot his potential, and looking for a senior colleague to replace Harry, decide to offer Jack a job as the center's forensic expert. Jack is close friends with colleague Clarissa Mullery, whom he invites to work with him at the Lyle Center, much to Leo's surprise. In his spare time, Jack is a cage fighter and splits his home life between forensic research and training for his next fight. Clarissa Mullery Liz Carr Series 1623. Clarissa is Jack's personal lab assistant, who first appears in the episode Change when Jack invites her to work at the Lyle Center with him, much to Leo's surprise. She is disabled by an unspecified condition and uses an electric wheelchair. She has a very cheeky side, making a quip at Leo after he fails to recognize who she is on her first arrival. Clarissa had clearly worked for Jack for a long period of time before his appointment at the Lyle Center, but the exact period of time is unknown. Thomas Chamberlain Richard Linton Series 1723 Thomas Chamberlain took over as head of the Lyle Center from Leo, who died at the end of Series 16. He was an experienced forensic pathologist with a renowned reputation in toxicology and is described as charming, charismatic, and socially shrewd. His first encounters with Jack, Nikki, and Clarissa did not go well, but they gradually warmed to him. It is revealed in the last episode of his first series that his wife left him just before he started working at the Lyle Center, taking their daughter with her. He died in the series 23 finale The Greater Good whilst investigating a nerve agent in the pathology suite of the Lyle Center. Adam Ewan Jason won series 24. Adam is a confident, bright and keen pathologist who joins Nikki and Jack at the Lyle Center. He dies midway through series 24 after being hit by a car whilst investigating a suspect. Simone Tyler, Genesis Linea Series 24. Simone is a meticulous ecologist who makes the jump from the museum to the mortuary at the Lyle Center. Recurring Fred Dale, Sam Parks Series 1-3. Fred was Sam's main assistant during post-mortems and on visits to crime scenes, often identifying DNA samples at the scene of the crime and linking them to those responsible. He was also notable for not having many speaking lines and regularly appearing without speaking. His fate at the end of Series 3 was not revealed. Detective Constable Kerry Cox Ruth Jamel Series 1, a junior trainee detective who had an affair with Tom Adams, but was later killed in a freak accident in a hospital basement. Detective Constable Marcia Evans Janice Aqua Series 1, a fellow junior trainee detective for the Cambridgeshire Police Force, who resigned after Carrie Coxey's death. Detective Chief Inspector Rachel Selway Nicola Redmond Series 2. Tom Adams' replacement, following his resignation from the force. She joined the team alongside junior Sergeant Tony Speed. Detective Sergeant Tony Speed, Richard Hugh Series 2, a junior sergeant, who joined the team alongside his superior officer. Rachel Selway. He knew Peter Ross from a previous posting. Janet Mander J. Griffiths, Series 1215. Janet is a psychological profiler who assists the police in cases of serial offenses. She began a relationship with Leo in the episode Death's Door, and they lived together as partners until Leo ended the relationship in Red Hill. She recurringly worked alongside the team to provide them with information in order to get an idea of the suspect they are looking for. 
Janet decided to move away from London after Leo ended their relationship. Charlie Gibbs won the Misaku Series 13, a junior doctor and lab technician who was appointed to work with the team by Professor Dalton. Zach Khan Archer Ali Series 14, a junior doctor who worked his forensic science apprenticeship with the team to learn the ropes of the profession. Ricky Ryan Matthew Steer Series 1, Wynn's son and Sam's nephew, who regularly got into trouble and was expelled from school for very poor behavior. Rosemary Mason Jane Haslagrove Series 6-7, the main receptionist at the Lyle Center before the change in focus from university department to purely commercial pathology. Max Thorndike Daniel Wayman Series 2022 Max is Clarice's husband, a forensic data analyst originally called in by the Lyle team to help solve a case in Series 20 but returning in two further episodes in Series 21. Home Media in Australia Region 4, Series 1 through 23 have been released on DVD through Rocho Entertainment, starting with Series 1 on 7 September 2006 through to Series 21 on 28 May 2018. Universal then took over the releases beginning with Series 22 on 20 November 2019 and have re-released some earlier seasons, this time as individual seasons rather than two-season editions. Novels. During the early years of the show, series creator McCrory wrote and published a number of tie-in novels relating to the series, following Sam Ryan, Amanda Burton, and Trevor Stewart, William Armstrong, as well as former main character superintendent Tom Adams, John McGlynn, and brand new character D.S. Stanley Sharman, with Burton generally appearing on the front. The fifth novel, due to be published in 2003, was placed on indefinite hold and has never been released. 